Today, Ricky and I are going to Galveston Island. It is like 45 minutes away from where I live. And we're gonna go drive uh, 45 minutes to Galveston Island. And as you can see, Ricky is right behind me over there. Ricky, say hi. Ricky, say hi. All right, so Ricky is barking someone at the back over there. Mm. We are going to Galveston Island to get away for just half a day today and uh, see you down there. Galveston Island is one of the best and popular island here in Houston, Texas because this is where all the uh, cruise ships docks as well and uh, there's a lot of entertainment a restaurant in Galveston Island Ricky what you doing there you okay good good here in Galveston Island a very small island away from Houston and we're gonna go and stroll around the small island and maybe have a lunch or brunch here in the island as well Ricky is behaving so good at the back seat it's a little bit gloomy today and uh, about uh, 62 degrees outside so it's cold that's why I'm wearing this uh, hoodies and it started to really get cold lately Turn right onto 15th Street. especially in the evening I think I'm gonna go straight to the beach front or the seawall as you can see around me here a lot of old houses old houses made of woods Galveston Island is famous in uh, old structures, buildings, houses, residential houses. But the very first place as well that, uh, that the uh, hurricane or any storms will actually hit is this area. So I'm just turn right onto 49th Street, then turn right. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going right now. So I really don't know where I'm going right now because my GPS is actually like taking me to a residential. At the stop sign, turn right so onto 47th Street. Let me go ahead. Then turn right onto Avenue O. Let me go ahead and maybe um, try to calibrate my GPS on the side. Hold on a second. At the stop sign, turn right onto 46th Street. Then turn right onto Avenue O. So let's go ahead to the seawall of Galveston. Look at the houses over here, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Houses, brick houses, I mean. 
Look at that. They want Trump to be won it to be the president again. In one mile, turn right onto Seawall Boulevard. Oh there you go. In one mile ahead, that's the seawall. I am really craving for the seafoods today, so I'm gonna have to look around for a nice seafoods restaurant around the island, and uh, maybe that's where I'm gonna do my lunch or brunch together with Ricky. So let me see, it's still, there we go, let's go. There's a family dollar over there. I would love to live in this area, but then again, so dangerous because every time, every time that there will be a tropical storm and there will be a hurricane, this is the first mile, place right that will hit. Boulevard. this road I am hitting the sea wall which is the beachfront of Galveston this is where all the hotels and the entertainment and the restaurants is located so as you can see this is the end of the road at the light turn right onto Seawall Boulevard as you can see the water right there already It's look like a calm sea. So we're just gonna have to go maybe this way around. And we are right now in front of it, the beach sides parking. It's a parallel, it's a parallel parking right here, so everyone can park here for free. Uh, we are basically right exactly on the front of the seawall, which is the beach front of the island okay you stay there Ricky stay I'll be right there so this is the seawall as you can see right there
looking for a nice seafood restaurant in the island and I think I got to see one that is looks good it's called Nick's kitchen and beach bar so they have this uh, calamari and I think they have an outdoor as well We just got here in the Rick's uh, Seafoods here in uh, Galveston Island and one of the best thing is the seafoods right here. So I ordered uh, uh, seafoods platters which is uh, $25 for the plate and it comes with all kinds of seafoods around it. I also ordered this uh, uh, soup for the day. That is really good. So as you can see, Ricky is up right here, right beside me as well. He's enjoying as well the food. After this, by the beginning, I have to go stroll a little bit to Galveston and maybe go to um, the Galvis Hotel is one of the best and historic hotel in Galveston. Mm. It tastes like tilapia. Ricky, you want some tilapia? Okay, let's try this. There you go. Look how big it is. There you go. Very good. Here that is look like barbecued or something, but it's look like teriyaki or meat. Look at that. But let's just go and try it. Mm. It's a bit sweet. I can actually taste the the, the the texture of the squid in it. It's really good. This one is good. It's just right there. You want some? Here. Here. If you want to go eat um, seafood, I suggest just, just use your hands. Just don't forget to sanitize your hands because. Using hands is better. You can actually like enjoy the foods that you're eating. Look how big is the shrimp. It's so huge. It's a cheating day today as well because you know, oh, this is a lot of calories, a lot of cholesterol, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. This is just a cheating day.
So when you're here in Galveston Islands, it feels like you're in totally different country. The ambience, the vicinity, the tourist spot, the people, the foods, it feels like you're somewhere out there, not in Texas, not in Houston, but somewhere different. It's amazing to be here. the Hotel Galvez, one of the famous historic places of the 20th century. The hotel opened in 1911 and the building was named the Galvez, honoring Bernardo de Galvez, first Viscount of Galveston, for whom the city was named, and the building was added to the National Register of the Historic Places on April 4, 1979. It's no secret that the Hotel Galvez is haunted. With over a century of history, it's more surprising that there are ghosts. From Galveston's lovelorn lady to the sisters of charity, the Hotel Galvez is crawling with paranormal activity. Plus, some suspect that the hotel stands above a mass grave. So, what are you waiting for? Come on and book yourself a room in room 501 and discover yourself. He's so thirsty, he just drink the water from the ocean. Let's go drink the water later, okay?
we get right here. So we're gonna go up to see those people right behind me uh, doing the fishing. Ricky are really enjoying running around like I'm free.
Let's go.